I, I'm very happy for you. I'm very happy. Here you go again. Here you go again. Blaming his daddy. Blaming his daddy. Here you go. No, uh, 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 stop, stop. No, because I hear you saying it. I hear you say it's implied in your voice. You know, I'm, I'm happy that you're happy that your son is doing great in school and your other kids, you know, you, I don't hear you, too, but I guess you shining the highlight on him. I'm happy that you're, that he's doing good. But a wise person said this, don't take credit for when it's good if you're not gonna take the credit and the blame for when it's bad. Let me ask you this on the flip side. Would you take the credit if your son got in detention? Would you take the credit if your son got suspended? Would you take the credit if your son got expelled? Would you take the credit if your son got arrested? You see what I'm saying? I, I get it. I get it. You were the one who, you know, made the right moves and the decisions and opened the door. Stop taking credit from him. He is responsible for his success. He put in the work in school. He paid attention. He did what he was supposed to do. And surprisingly so, because the issues between you and his dad, right? Other kids might not have had that kind of outcome. Other kids might have succumbed to other things and got in trouble and stuff like that. Why? Because the issues between you and your ex-husband is a fucking mess. And e pluribus unum, out of the many, one. You see what I'm saying? Out of the many uh, kids that don't have those kinds of outcomes, right, your son did. So he's, he, look, let him have his moments. Let him shine. You see what I'm saying? Mama sometimes, all, and it ain't every mama, I get it. But sometimes mamas love to sit there and take the credit from these kids. Like, if it wasn't for your mama, if it wasn't for your mama, if it wasn't for your mama, let's flip it around. If it wasn't for your mama, you might not have been in jail. If it wasn't for your mama, you might not have been in detention. If it wasn't for your mama, you might not have been suspended. If it wasn't for your mama, you might not have gotten expelled. Oh, see, you don't like to hear that, do you? I ain't think so. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying, right? Yes. You did what you did. It's all good. But I'm still waiting for you to tell me when you're going to teach him about your failures. Because what he does in school, that's just professional success. Those teachers are building him up for his life professionally. Meaning from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., he going to rock. But what happens from 5.01 p.m. to 8.59 a.m. the next morning. That's where you come in. It is said that in a school year, right, in one week, a student will spend 900 hours with a teacher. But in that same week, they will spend 7,800 hours at home. You are his greatest teacher. And you will be responsible since you want to say F his dad. And since the man you got there really ain't teaching him nothing. You will be responsible for his success 